and hosted Kimmel Musk, who sits on the board of his brother's car venture. Mr. Musk and his fiancée stayed at Dumfries House in Ayrshire for several days in 2016. Following the drive the prince is understood to have inquired about securing the car. The Telegraph also reported Clarence House approached Tesla and discussed plans for Tim Williams, the head driver for Prince Charles, to visit a showroom and select a vehicle. However, Clarence House has since insisted it is having conversations with Jaguar Land Rover about bringing electric cars to the Royal Fleet. A spokesman for the house added, there is definitely a plan for us to incorporate electric cars into the royal fleet. Daniel Shikani, a social impact entrepreneur who is understood to have been involved in discussions with Telsa, insisted bringing a more environmentally friendly vehicle into the royal family would reinforce Charles's commitment to environment protection. He said, bringing an electric car into the royal fleet would positively reflect the prince's commitment to his work on climate change. Following his initial meeting with Mr. Musk, Charles is hosted him again at Clarence House. The Tesla Model S 75D delivers a top speed of 140 miles per hour and is able to reach 60 miles per hour in four. Two seconds. Dot the vehicle is priced at just over £70,000. Meanwhile, Jaguar is branding its new I Pace as the company's first all electric performance SUV and could be Charles's choice of electric horsepower. The £63,000 car has a battery range of 298 miles and can reach a top speed of 124 miles per hour. Kimmel Musk developed a bond with the heir to the throne over their love for real food that you trust to nourish your body and the planet. The Tesla board member co-founded a restaurant group focusing on farm-to-table food dubbed The Kitchen and a charity named Big Green that builds learning gardens across the U.S. Mr. Musk heaped praise on Prince Charles, calling him a warrior for decades as he praised his food endeavors following their meeting. He stated, he has been so passionate about this for years, and the food companies have said it's not possible, the customer doesn't want it, 